Welcome back to the channel guys and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to elasticate a pole top kit. Okay, so pole elastication is really, really simple. It's very, very easy. If you are a newcomer though and you just do not fancy tackling this, ask your local tackle shop either where you bought your pole from or even where you just go and get your bait if they will elasticate it for you. Just about every shop in the country will have an elastication service. It might cost you a couple of quid, but generally what they'll do, they'll do a little bundle you know, all the bits you need and maybe chuck in the elastication for free if you ask them nicely. However, it is very, very simple. So if you do fancy tackling it yourself, it's nothing to be afraid of. Now, I've got here an Edge Monster top kit, which comes in two pieces. You've got the number one and then the number two with the side puller in it. Now, it's worth saying that the, these poles come with side puller already fitted with the roller puller. So if your pole doesn't, you might need to be fitting a, um, a puller bung into your pole a standard bung or drilling out for a side puller but the Preston poles come pre-done so that takes that job out of the equation. I've got my elastic, in this case I've got 15 hollow. I'm going to go for a hollow connector, just a plastic style connector because this is an Edge Monster pole, it's kind of aimed at the newcomers to fishing so I'm going to give the uh, hollow connector a run out. I've got a little puller bead, now we sell these, you get loads of these in a the packet. Now this is for securing the elastic at the puller bung end. I've got my diamond eye threader, which I spoke about in the last video. Very, very important bit of kit that will save you the whole world of pain. And then I've got some sharp scissors. Very, very simple. Let's get on with it. So the first job is to unravel your diamond eye threader because trust me, these things shoot off into space sometimes. It can be, uh, uh. there we go, <laughs> we've unraveled it. So. As I said, this is a valuable tool. So we'll put that to one side just for the moment because we don't actually need it just at this moment. Oh, look at it, shooting off into the, into the ether. Told you it would. Stay, stay. Right, so the elastic. Say, hollow elastic, very, very popular, very hard wearing. Will do you a great job when it comes to catching loads of fish. Now it's a three meter length, which is more than enough to go in this top kit. And we've got, now this stuff's a bit slippery, a bit slimy, because it's, it's pre-treated in our slip lubricant, which is one of the advantages with the Preston stuff. Every elastic we do gets treated, so it's a massive, massive benefit if you are using our elastics. Now, you may see I've just took the, the collar off the plastic connector. I'm going to pass the elastic through, so it's like that. And then all I'm going to do is take this part, pass the elastic through it, and all I'm going to do is this favourite little knot. So basically, it's a, I make a loop, I then twist it once, like that. So I twist it once, then pass the, the tag end back through the elastic like that. So you've got this business going on, pull it down tight. Give it a little wet, pull it down tight like that. You can't really overdo it. Don't worry if you've, if you've lubed it up enough, it'd be absolutely fine. You're not gonna get any burns or anything like that. And as you can see there, you've got the connector with that simple knot. So I've gone through it. I've almost tied a granny knot, but instead of going through like with a granny knot, I've gone around the elastic and then back through. So really simple. And that is the same knot I use, whether it's a Dacron connector or a plastic connector. Really, really strong, really secure. As you can see, it just does not slip. It just locks in. And with that in mind, I'll tighten it right down. And then what I'm gonna do is get my sharp scissors, trim it off nice and tight. It's never gonna slip that because of that twisted knot. It, it'll, it just stays there. And then this collar then slides up over the elastic and clicks into place like that. So you've got a super, super neat connection. I right, say so all you need to do when you attach your rig, pop that collar down, put your rig on it, Good to go. So really simple, really secure, a great place for beginners when it comes to pole fishing. Now the next job is to get the elastic actually inside the pole. Now, because this is a brand new top kit, the elastic would just fall straight through here, no problem at all. But because I want to show you the correct way of doing it, you know, once you've used the pole a few times or whatever, you get that, that wet, wet moisture inside there, the elastic will not run down it. So get your diamond eye threader, Get it going down there, all the way down. It's out the bottom now. And then make sure there's no knots in your elastic before you attach it, so there's none in this. 
And this is where the, the diamond eye scores because you just put that in there. Locks into place so it's really secure. And then it's just a case of pulling that elastic into your pole. As easy as that. Look. So we've got the plastic connector there, which is in position. The elastic's through the number one section. Now all we need to do is get it through that number two section. The diamond eye is still attached, so we've got nothing to worry about there. And it's just a case of now getting it down there. Now the tricky part comes when it comes to getting it into the roller puller, but we won't worry about that just for now. It's a bit of a two-stage process that is, so we'll pull this through. And the aim is we've got to go all the way through like that. Wait for it to pop out there and like that. And we're gonna pull this through like that. And then the best thing to do is put your top kit together like that. It just gives you a bit more elastic to work with. Now don't let go of this at this point. Put it in between your teeth or something. Don't let it go. Take it off there. Put it in between your teeth. Now, to get your elastic to come out the side puller, again, the diamond eye comes into, is your friend here. So get your diamond eye and sort of feed it in and push it, so you're sort of pushing it up that way. You can feel it go up that way. And it's just popped out there. So I'm gonna reconnect my elastic like that. So I've gone through the side puller, through to the bottom of my pole, reattach my elastic and I'm gonna pull it up, and as you'll see in a minute, it'll just pop out of there, just like that, and we're all through. We're connected, we've got our side puller there with the, the 15 hollow coming out of there. Sweet as anything. So we'll take that off there now. Off the diamond eye. Now the final part of the job, again, very, very simple. Why is there not, not a pole roost about when you need it? So the final part of the job, very, very simple, is to attach the puller bead. It's a side puller bead, just a really simple little gadget. Again, diamond eye comes into its own, past the diamond eye, through the bead, so the thin end is at the top. Put your elastic back through it, like so. Lock it in position, and then pull this. This will take a bit of pulling because you're dealing with a thick elastic here, but just pull and it'll pop on like that. So my diamond eye, although a bit annoying, it look, it's disappeared off into the kid's bedroom, I think. Although it's an annoying bit of kit, it is so good. Such a good bit of kit. And then all you can see there, I'm just trying to get tension on my elastic. So what I like to do, this is only a starting point. Pull it, pull it, you see it's just starting to creep in. So I'm gonna pull that bead down. And then what I like to have is like, an inch or so just dangling out like that. Yeah, something like that. Now, once you've got your starting tension, all you need to do is tie a simple overhand loop in your elastic like that. Obviously give it a moisten. Pull it down tight and then trim off with your scissors like so. And as you can see, that is an elasticated top kit. As simple as that. We've got the side puller fitted, we've got the bead on to stop the elastic shooting inside the pole. That is tight enough to tension it, so if you wanted to tighten it up, you could pull it out like that and it would dangle out, but it is under tension. But if you did hook a big fish, it would still pull it through. But as a starting point, that is a really, really good tension. I, how, I, how I had it sort of just creeping back in like that is how I like to have my pole elastic. Now, one, one thing I do like to do before I actually use the, the pole elastic is to pre-tension it and give it, more importantly, give it a proper stretching. Nothing does this better than a fish, so if you've got a local fishery close by that you can just pop to, all the better. However, sometimes you don't, so you've got to do it yourself. What I like to do, I just take my hand and wrap it around my hand, basically. So I'm pulling it out of there, and I'm just wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it until we've got bottomed out, still loads more stretch there. Tie it to one of the kids, get them to run up the garden, whatever you want to do, but give it a real good stretching like that. You see, I've got loads of elastic there. I let go. As you can see, all of a sudden, we've, where it was, it was creeping into the pole before, now we've got a bit of a droop on. So all I need to do is probably take another two inches off. 
to get the right tension. And we're ready to go, guys. Ready to go catch loads of fish. So there we go. We're all attached. Everything's working, everything's nice. We've got the plastic connector on there, which is the, the easiest sort of for newcomers to pole fish in. We've got a two piece top kit there. We've got the side puller, so you can manually tension the elastic when you're playing fish. A brilliant, brilliant setup for the Edge Monster. Absolutely perfect. The one final thing that I would do when I got to the bank is give it a squirt of this. So I've got my section in two pieces there with the elastic running down the middle. I would take the lid off, give it one or two squirts down there, just that's enough. And then, as I said in the last video, almost like a blow dart tube, blow it down there and eventually you'll see the, the uh, lubricant start running out the end of the pole, give it a few stretches and it'll be there, all lubed up, ready to go. Absolutely brilliant. That is just a beautiful elastic. That'll be absolutely perfect for some margin fishing, some paste fishing, something like that. 15 is quite a strong elastic. Look at that, beautiful. So really, really nice. It's very simple. Like I say, follow them steps, get yourself a diamond eye threader and you'll be elasticating top kits in no time. Alternately, if you don't want to do it, visit your local tackle shop and they are sure to put you on the right lines. They'll do it for you. Maybe at a small cost, but they will do it for you. So there you go, guys. That's how to elasticate a top kit. Really, really simple.